be my last It makes no difference Where you're I turn I can't get over you And the flame still burns It makes no difference You were asleep last night, Ian. Yeah. Um, us old uh, DJs sat at the table you kids. just playing it. And, of course, Rick Danko, we just fell apart with that. That yeah. has got to be a sublime moment. Well, I mean, I wanted to include the band. Uh, so many people I wanted to include, you know, um, that I couldn't. You know, James Brown and James Carr and Otis Redding. And, uh, I mean, I could just go on and on and on. I wanted to put the band, you know, I love Lee Vaughan. The band, probably my favourite band of all time. Right. But actually my favourite version of that song is just Rick on his own playing it because the fragility comes across even more 
than it does when it's the when it's all of them and it's just that voice and and it's funny until I, for the first in my 20s let's say or in, in my early part of my career all my vocal influences were the the shouters and the rough voiced guys you know little richard and Helen wolf you know muddy had this big booming voice james brown otis sam cook all you know big vocalists and you know rick is the opposite of that he's got this high pure voice but it's still just as soulful as all those guys it's just coming from a different different angle you know like and, and towns is the same towns van zandt he's got this fragile voice which is incredibly moving and soulful so i thought it was important to have that one in and another live track it was it's interesting another, that yeah. you you singled out live tracks. So yeah, much. I didn't really mean to. It's just they're my favourite versions of those songs, and 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 I realised it as I was making the list. I was like, well, th- these are almost entirely live versions. That is a coincidence, but um, a happy one. Good morning, John. Ain't it great to see your future shining brighter in the naked latter day? You made it, son. But I confess there was a time or two I thought that you might let it slip away. I love you, John. In the cold and holy darkness you were all. Shining brighter than a star God bless you, John For the love and joy you've given And the living inspiration that you are You scared me, John you cross so many borders into danger with a price upon your head. They got you, John, and it hurt to see so many friends who ran along beside you lying dead. I know you, John. There ain't nothing you can't handle now Cause there ain't nothing bigger than your heart Keep smiling, John Boy, you owe it to the others And the dark and holy wonder that you are Hanging there, John It's a rocky road to glory But the strangest and the strongest will survive Keep smiling, John We won't make it there tomorrow But today, let's say we're lucky we're alive I'll see you, John Though the best of good intentions have a way Getting scattered by the wind I mean it, John You can lose your mind to memory But you ain't gonna lose me as your friend Good morning, John Chris Christopherson. Yeah. Well, he's possibly my favourite. Well, I always say AD after Dylan. I think he's maybe the best songwriter. Him, Towns, uh, uh, and John Prine, you know, they're all up there. I love Christopherson. I love his turn of phrase, his poetry, his delivery. Uh, One thing that uh, we did notice, and we wrote at the bottom of the list, no Tom Waits. Yeah, it's and funny yet, that. Um, obviously, he's a huge influence, especially in my early days. Um, and you did front a, um, or you still do front, once Brain a year. Dogs, is it? Brain Dogs. Brain Terrible. Dogs. I, I don't like the name. But, um, yeah, once a year, well, it's a bunch of people from different bands and we get together. I mean, it's not even a tribute. It's an evening of the songs of Tom Waits and we basically get up and play non-stop for about four hours with no rehearsal. And, and it's for me, it's like being in the Tom Waits band because they can all play that kind of weird, quirky 
start. It's just a party on the stage, and yeah, we do it every year. Because the last time, or one of the times I was here, you just come back from Hungary, I think. Yeah. You've lost your voice doing that. Yeah, gig. because I, I do. Well, there's, I think there's five of us that sing, and it's a seven or eight piece band. And I do the, the lion's share, let's say. And it's, it's pretty taxing on the old vocals for four hours. Mm. You know? And, and we, we normally do two or three nights consecutive. So, Is yeah. there a period of Tom Waits that you prefer? There's the post Kathleen Brennan. In, oh, or, or, or sorry, the pre Kathleen Brennan. I have a soft spot for that earlier stuff, probably because it's what I discovered first. I, I mm. pretty much went through it chronologically, you know. Well, if you go, if you know all the more recent stuff and you go back to the early stuff, you can hear his sort of naivety and his, he's trying desperately to be something. He's, and I'm sure he would admit that himself. I'm Which not. supposedly Kathleen Brennan did for him because she made him more Barney himself. Hoskins' book on him, which is brilliant. She introduced him to... Uh, Captain Beefheart, that'll wake uh, Barry up. Yeah. You've heard of Captain Beefheart, haven't you? Oh, yes, you to me. Yes, of course I have. Darling. No, we're talking to the other Barry in the room, yeah. actually. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Like, I mean, uh, if you'd said this to me twenty years ago, I would have probably slapped you because you're not allowed to to say Waits was influenced by anybody because he's unique and and he's a genius, which he is, of course. Mm -hmm. But he was very much influenced by Doctor John and Captain Beefheart, you know, and and a bunch of other people and Frank Sinatra. Oh sure, obviously that you know Cole Porter, Frank Sinatra, all the all the old stuff. Yeah. Tell me, is it the crack of the pool balls, neon buzzing, telephones ringing? It's your second cousin. Is it the barmaid smile in the corner of her eye? Magic or the melancholy tearing your eye? Exit kind of quiver. Down in the cold, but you're dreaming of them Saturdays that came before, and now you're stumbling. You're stumbling onto the heart of Saturday night. So, we did manage to eventually squeeze just a bit of the genius known as Tom Waits into the playlist. Um, and I did take the liberty of doing that with a few artists throughout the uh, last hour, just to illustrate some of Ian's points. Um, there was so much more good conversation and music that we had um, that I didn't want to cut it. And so, you lucky people, you're going to get part two of this special next week. And you're going to hear some brilliant music that Ian chose from the likes of Hubert Sumlin, uh, Muddy Waters and Dylan, for just amongst others, uh, plus one of the finest segues I've ever heard with Hank Williams leading into Little Richard. I kid you not. Now, if you found this show, you'll find next week's. And the playlist is, as usual, up at www.howlingdick.com and there's links for uh, video and info for all the artists on the show. Um, I'm going to play out today with one of Ian's favourites, the great Otis Redding, and this is Pain in My Heart. I've been Howling Dick, you've been you. Till the next time. Pain in my heart Treating me cold Where can my baby be? Lord, no one knows Just won't let me sleep Where can my baby be? Lord, where can she be?
love me, baby. Like 